some corporate conversations as well. Earnings are coming in thick and fast. Mr. Baba Kalyani, the CMD of Bharat Forge, is joining us now to discuss the quarter two numbers and the outlook going forward. Mr. Kalyani, good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining in today and thank you for being patient as well. Apologies for coming to you late. There has been a lot that's happening. But thank you for joining CNBC TV 18. Uh, always, it's 25 years of the channel running now and your insights have always been very, very helpful for the viewers and us as well. Uh, you know, quarter two earnings this time around, the standalone business where the revenues came in flat this time, Mr. Kalyani, the consolidated business saw a decline of 2.3%. Can you explain how the demand trends are currently? Where do you see demand going in the second half? How does it compare with the first half? I think fundamentally the Q2 performance uh, was pretty resilient concerning if you look at the underlying demand situation, which is there. Uh, we had a flat uh, top line, uh, but our margins expanded, so we had a better product mix. We had a better cost uh, control, uh, and that was a reflection of that. Uh, the real issue is Europe. Uh, Europe has gone into a big problem, both politically and demand-wise. Uh, we see uh, demands coming down in Europe quite dramatically, and that's the reason why uh, the top line couldn't be a little better than what it was. But overall, we are uh, all our businesses uh, are firing on all cylinders right now. And uh, uh, you will, we will continue to see growth going forward. Our defense business is doing well. Our aerospace business is growing extremely well. Our industrial business is growing very well. JSA has had a fantastic uh, quarter. Uh, our order intake... Uh, uh, from April to September has been over 2,000 crores. Uh, and so things are looking good. We have a few problems to solve in Europe. And I think in the next couple of months, we will solve them. So considering whatever happens in Europe continues to remain the way it is right now, Mr. Kalyani, is it fair to say second half will be similar to first half in terms of top line and in terms of margins as well? I think, yeah. I think I would, uh, I would say that. Okay. You know, your defense business has done really well, and that's been the trigger point for quite some time now. It's a 67% growth on a YOY basis. Your defense order wins have been around 640 crore rupees in quarter two itself. Uh, is this a growth rate which is sustainable? Because after a point, growth rates usually slow down. Uh, is this something that you would witness in the defense business as well, or it'll continue to grow that, at that 60% plus mark? Well, it won't grow 60% plus every quarter. But it will continue to grow at a healthy rate. Uh, you have to understand that our defense business is only two years old in terms of production and sales. So we've done remarkably well in two years. And most of our business, almost 90% of what we are doing now is all exports. So the domestic business is yet to come. And that's now in the pipeline, as you probably have heard in the news. And when that comes, uh, you know, that will be the next step of growth for us going forward. Okay, all right. So domestic business, uh, how that scales up will be key to track. Uh, Mr. Kalyani, in the month of October, the North American uh, truck orders, they were down 6% on a month-to-month -month basis, but up 2% on a YOY basis. Uh, how is demand there? Because the uh, conversation with analysts suggested that some fleets are being cautious as they order new trucks for 2025. Uh, can you give us a sense of what's the on-ground situation? Right now, the demand is good. Everybody's production, daily production numbers are still the same as the last quarter. I think a large, uh, to a large extent, it will not depend on the new policies the new government brings in in the next two months. And we will know more about it probably once uh, uh, the Trump administration has uh, all its cabinet put in place and some policy announcement come. But looking at some of the announcements like corporate tax cuts, and, uh, you know, increasing oil and gas and all that kind of thing, I think the demand will continue to go up. Oh, yes, that's been the next big uh, question mark, or I would say the next big trigger. Anybody who has a business in North America, what happens with Trump's policies going forward? Uh, JS Auto has done well, revenue growth of 32%, EBITDA growth of 60%. Uh, you have said in the presentation as well, this business will continue to register place, uh, what kind of CAGR are you looking at for this business going forward? How much will it continue to contribute to the overall? I think uh, we would expect this to grow at least at 20% CAGR for the next uh, two, three years. 
Uh, we have uh, a, a lot of uh, pipeline uh, business that we want to bring in into JSA. We have a lot of new customers now, which we didn't have before. We've just got the best supplier award from uh, uh, Vestas uh, from Denmark. So, you know, there are lots of new opportunities that are opening up for JSC, which is, which is good. And I think it will do very well in the coming years. Okay, all right. Uh, Mr. Kalyani, always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining in today and giving us all your insights. Uh, that's the word coming in from Bharat Forge. They expect second half to be like uh, first half. Demand is steady, barring Europe, where there are some issues which the company is uh, looking at solving as well. Well, with that, it's time.